Wrong way risk. During the global financial crisis, a decline in the price of securitized products collateralized by subprime mortgages caused an increase in the protection value of CDS, credit default swaps, referencing those products. At the same time, the default probability of the financial or the insurance companies that sold the CDS increased substantially. In this situation, the buyer of the insurance protection is said to be exposed to wrong way risk. Now, uh, what's the true story that I heard a few years after Lehman's crash? I'm just trying to think. I wonder if this is apocryphal, um, although I'd like to think it's true. There were, some, uh, there were a number of counterparties, participants in the market, maybe banks, hedge funds, I'm not sure, that bought protection on Lehman Brothers from AIG, or was it the other way around? That's a very obvious example of your exposure counterparty suffering just as your other exposure is suffering as well. Uh, there's other types of runway risk as well. For example, as your, your derivatives mark to market is going negative against you, your collateral requirement is also increasing to post more. So of course, the collateral you're required to post is, is going against you at the same time as your own mark to market is suffering. So wrong way risk is when you're getting an exposure that is two way and they're going negative, both ways are going negative at the same time. I do like the Lehman's AIG example then. Right, wrong way risk occurs in a bank's exposure to counterparty is adversely correlated with the credit quality of the counterparty itself. Default risk and credit exposure increase together. Okay, um, specific wrong way risk arises in poorly structured transactions. For example, those collateralized by their own or related party shares. A general wrong way risk occurs when the credit quality of the counterparty is correlated with a macroeconomic factor that also affects the value of derivative transactions. Okay? Under Basel III, instances of specific wrong way risk are subject to an additional capital charge, and banks are required to capture general wrong way risk in their stress testing.